Web page monitoring is one of the uh, derived application inside this IoT. But once when we go for this particular web page monitoring, here we have to know two different things. Those are local host and network host. So inside the local host, we will be able to share the data only within a particular surrounding. So within a particular surrounding means wherever the Wi-Fi range, whatever the Wi-Fi modem or the router, whichever we have connected inside our office or in our home. So within that particular range only, we will be able to share the data. So this complete data, if you want to access anywhere around this world, that comes under the network host. So among this web page as well as this particular whatever we are going to create, it completely works only within this particular surrounding. So in this particular system, once when we are working regarding towards this web page monitoring, here we have to completely note down what and all the functions, so how to create that particular web page. And generally the basics of HTML won't be there, but this HTML, whatever we are integrating with this Arduino IDE, it is completely easy over here. Here we will be writing inside the Arduino ID itself the complete structure and from the structure we will be just writing this web page coding also. Now both this will be integrated and with the help of some IP address we will be able to access the web page as quick as possible. Now to create this web page we have some of the basic things to be done. So today's session will be done with real time application with NodeMCU. So first here we have to create a web page design. Interface the sensor with NodeMCU, upload the code, code towards the controller, access the web page with IP address. Now among this, first let us start with one of the coding part. So inside this web page, we can do two different things. One is data monitoring and another one is data control. So first we are going to see monitoring. So how to monitor the data with the help of the web page and that particular web page will be monitored with the uh, help of our edge itself. So here we will be entering only the IP address of this particular node MCU and from there we will be able to collect the data whatever it is required. So among this here the library files whatever we are using it is esp8266 wifi.h, wifi client.h, esp8266 web server.h. So for SSID of the Wi-Fi, Pantech, password equal to Pantech. So this is nothing but the respective address and the password. And here we are accessing our ESP8266 web server at the port number 80, which is known as HTTP port. Initially the string will be empty. The page of M string will be empty as well as the data will be empty. Hereby, I am just creating the void setup pin mode A0 as input. So here I am going to take the analog sensor so that we can vary different data over here. Then at the same time delay will be applied and after that serial begin 1,15,200 that will be the baud rate. Then Wi-Fi dot begin we will be starting the Wi-Fi connections. If the Wi-Fi is connected it will be displaying the SSID as well as its IP address by using Wi-Fi dot local IP. The same thing if you are if it is not connected means uh, this dot will be continuously printed in a straight line. Now server dot begin. So here inside the void loop here we are writing analog read a naught into a variable and this particular variable will be reading in a double. So double will be the data type. Here we are turned on the server and started our HTML process. So header 1 center web page monitoring that will be the title and we will be closing that particular header 1 then header 3 on third line we are writing data and on fourth line the data has been printed up over there then finally server dot send so from that particular server it will be sending the data towards the web page in the form of text and therefore the html will be closed each and every data will be updated within 500 milliseconds Finally, we are handling the client server dot handle client. Now let me upload the data and within that let us connect the sensor. So hereby I am using this gas sensor as input. So taking the required wires connecting A0 ground and uh, VCC. So A0 to A0 will be connected ground to ground and VCC to V in. Now our device is connected. 
now everything it is getting uploaded up over there now open the serial monitor change the baud rate to 1,15,200 turn on the hotspot therefore it has been connected and this is our IP address now copy this IP address go to any browser and paste it so hereby it is showing 226 as the data now I am refreshing it it is 218 again refreshing it 214 208 now I am taking for as usual material sanitizer and uh, spraying on it so now the value is 673 now again let's check the value 710 661 so the final value is 577 now in this way only we will be able to monitor with the help of web page previously we have seen how to monitor from that particular web page now by using the same web page here we will be controlling two led lights which is connected to any of the controller for that we have to first uh, take our header file hash include esp8266 wifi.h and ssid and password hereby i am changing it and hereby i am going to connect only two led so i need only two pins therefore i am selecting d0 and d1 wifi server i am selecting for port number 80 which belongs to http the serial baud rate is 1,15,200 of 10 milliseconds delay since i have selected only two pins i require only these two pins so this code uh, whatever i am keeping on editing this completely comes under the process of a robo control so from that same code only for home automation also we can use then hereby i am printing that uh, ssid then after that ssid and password will be combined if both are matched means wi-fi is connected else it is still waiting to get connected finally the server will be started therefore serial print dot server started will be displayed on the serial monitor once if it started means wi-fi will be displayed wi-fi's ip address will be displayed with the help of command wi-fi dot local ip now hereby the client will be connected based on checking whether the server is available or not if it is available and equal to the client then therefore new client will be printed and within that particular client here everything will be taken in the form of string the request is a variable provided to get the data in the form of string provided by the user through web page so that particular session only here we can say it as request now initially everything will be in the low format so therefore here i am providing the message as on one so during that on one means therefore input one will be turned on and input two will be in off condition now i am providing it as off two sorry off one make sure the message should be same off one so here the requirement is only one application should be there now one for turning on and another one for turning off this value should be initially in the form of low then again comes with another button so on two since we are providing for two leds we need four buttons one is on button another one is off button high so now the second pin will be high mode the same thing only over here also then again it comes off to now this condition is not required for us led control now we have to provide messages l2 off so this portion is not required now here also we have to change this br indicates for breaking the line and hrf stands for initiating the button so href it is the background and button is for pressing performance so here the message will be on one l1 then off one l1 off then here again 
on to L2 on L2 off. Sorry, here it must be off to off to, and here it is L2 off. So this will be the name of the button, and uh, here we are having that particular stop. That button is not needed. So finally, four buttons has been created and ended with HTML. Then delay of one millisecond, client gets disconnected. So based on our particular improvements only, this function will be applied. Again, the pin number is D0 and D1. Wi-Fi, everything is correct. I hope Wi-Fi has been turned on. Now, uploading the code within that gap. Let us connect the LED. So once when we are working regarding this, some basic commands are most important in HTML and these commands only we are widely using it. So this is for passing the message. This is for name of the button to create the button and this is for breaking the line and this comes under ending the HTML. Similarly, we also will be having starting the HTML. So this particular portion only belongs to HTML part. Yeah, now everything is ready. Just log in. URL is also ready for us. Go to the browser and open the page. Now hereby I have connected everything. Now hereby I am tapping on L1 on. One of the light has turned on. L2 on. The other light. L1 off. L2 off. L1 on. Off. 2 off. So in this way only here we will be working with different different uh, web page controls. So those client connections we can monitor over here. Whenever we are getting to it new client on one client disconnected. Again new client on one new di disconnected. So in this way only here we will be completely working with this kind of different applications on IoT with web page. And again I am repeating it this particular web page can be accessed only within the local host. All the Wi-Fi should be connected in the uh, all the devices should be connected in the same Wi-Fi. So that is mandatory over here. And once whenever we have been connected and we are able to make all the requirements. Therefore like this we will be able to monitor as well as control with the single page at the sing same place the entire industry or the entire home anywhere we can apply this the only requirement is there is no need of net connection even only the router is more than enough no need of net connection the router is more than enough according to this particular application thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel